Today we will learn how to multiply a fraction by a fraction, a whole number to fraction and vice versa, and a fraction to mixed number and vice versa. So let us now start by giving examples. Let's first with multiplying a fraction by a fraction. So let's start with our first example. So it's 1 half times 3 over 4 equals n. So our first step is to multiply the numerators 1 times 3 equals 3 and multiply the denominators 2 times 4 equals 8. And our final answer will be 3 over 8. So if possible, simplify, get the lowest term. But if not, that will be our final answer. So just remember, it's just easy to multiply fractions. We will just multiply their numerators and then multiply their denominators. And then simplify if possible. If not, that will be your final answer. So let's proceed to our next example, multiplying a whole number by a fraction. So we have very 3 times 2 over 7 equals n. So we will just change the whole number 3 to fraction form by adding 1 as its denominator. So 3 will become 3 over 1 times 2 all over 7 equals n. So they are now both fractions. We can now multiply the numerators. 3 times 2 equals 6 and multiply the denominators. 1 times 7 equals 7 and with that, we will get the answer as 6 all over 7. So that will be our final answer. So again, sa ating final answer, always simplify, get the lowest term if possible. Pero kung nakasimplify na siya, that will be our final answer. And tandaan, if nauna sa given ang fraction, then multiply sa whole number, just follow the same process. Just also remember that when we multiply a whole number by a fraction or a fraction by a whole number, always change the whole number into fraction form by adding 1 to its denominator. So our last example is multiplying a mixed number by a fraction. So we have here 2 and 1 third times 2 over 9 equals n. So the first step is to change the mixed number into improper fraction form. So 2 and 1 thirds will become 7 all over 3 times 2 all over 9 equals n. So meron po tayong separate video on how to change mixed number into improper fraction form. And you are free to watch it po nasa channel po natin. So let's proceed. We will just multiply the numerator 7 times 2 equals 14. And then multiply the denominators 3 times 9 is equal to 27. So with that, our final answer will be 14 all over 27. So again po, just a reminder, if possible, always simplify your final answer. Lagi pong naka lowest term. Pero dito po sa mga examples natin ng ating mga final answer ay simplified na. Kaya hindi na po tayo naglo-lowest term. And if you're having trouble on how to simplify fractions, again, we also have separate videos uh, explaining how to get the lowest term or how to simplify fractions. So always remember to multiply a mixed number and a fraction or vice versa kahit sino po yung mauna. Basta main mixed number, always change the mixed number to improper fraction form. And then proceed to multiplying the numerators and the denominators. So that is how we multiply po involving fractions. Always remember kapag whole number, add 1 as its denominator at kapag mixed number, Gagawin lang po itong improper fraction and then proceed to multiplying the numerators and multiplying the denominators and then simplify if possible. 